Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR in today's video I got one of the best working badge glitches on NBA 2k20 use this badge glitch and get your badges extremely fast A lot of you guys have been asking me for the best version on Xbox So I'm gonna bring that to you guys and then I have also placed a VC code in this video A lot of you guys have been asking me do I only do ps4 or do I do I do, I do Xbox as well? If you actually watch all of my videos, then you know I try to mix between ps4 and Xbox codes that I place in my video but for whatever reason today, Amazon was completely out of Xbox code. Like I said, it was unavailable, so I, I couldn't place one of those in this video. But like I said, I do have a PS4 a VC code placed in this video for you guys. So if you guys like to win some free VC, make sure you guys turn on post notifications and hit that sub button. I'm also running this giveaway on all my videos as well. If this video hits 500 likes, make sure you guys comment down below your Instagram or Twitter. Let me know if you're on PS4 or Xbox. If this video hits 500 likes, I'll pick and choose somebody out of the comment section and send them a $10 PSN or Xbox gift code. You guys already know that I'm looking out for Nota Gang. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for all support. Uh, 15K, we just hit that. So again, thank you guys so much for that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. So this method right here is how you do it if you send to the end of the season. And then keep in mind in the description down below, I have the PS4 versions as well. And then you can also do this in the prelude and you can also do this if you are able to ask for a trade. And I've made a video on all those methods including the PS4 version as well. So if you're on PS4, just go ahead and check that out if you would like. So to start off this glitch, um, I made a new player, it's a perimeter lockdown. I am looking to make a lockdown. I just don't know if this build is, the, is gonna be the one that I make. So, but I just wanted to make him for just for this video. So, what you need to do for this glitch is you want to send to the end of the season. Um, the team that I chose is the Orlando Magic, and no hate to them or anything like that. Just whenever I choose them, I'm able to send all the way to the end of the season without getting put in the playoffs. If you do get put in the playoffs, what I usually do is I just play each game and then I try to lose on purpose or I'll foul out. But um, like I said, you do want to send to the end of the season as the first step, but you also want to make sure you play the My Player Nation game if you have one available. So as you guys can see, I do. So this game right here, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to load it up, and then um, I'm going to foul out just so I get my VC. I want to play six minutes, but I'll show you guys that you can do this an unlimited amount of times. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this player is I'm going to try to get some badge progress, but I'm only gonna play six minutes and then I'm gonna foul out just so I get my VC. So here's what I did. Um, I played six minutes and then I'm gonna foul out. Being a 60 overall with uh, no upgrades, it's hard to score, it's hard to shoot, so that's why I didn't really try that hard. Plus, I didn't wanna make the video any longer than it had to be. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna foul out, and I'm just gonna show you guys this glitch and that you can do this My Player Nation glitch over and over again. So whenever you guys are doing this, you wanna make sure you try to get as much badge progress as you can. But like I said, with me and this player, um, I'm not actually you know, probably gonna use this player, but you can see I get my times two VC, which is a thousand, and then everything else is times two as well. So that was my first My Player Nation game on this team. So now what you wanna do is load back to the NBA 2K20 menu. All right, so once you load back in, um, what you guys are gonna wanna do, the very first step that you guys need to do is you wanna go ahead and sim out this whole entire season. Um, since I chose the Orlando Magic, I shouldn't make the playoffs, but if you, for whatever reason, do make the playoffs, like I said, what you have to do is you can foul out of each game, you can sim out, or you can try to lose on purpose. So I'm gonna go ahead and sim out this season through. When the season is like once you send through the season, the next step is to end the season. But real quick here, you want to make sure that you know what my what teams have a my player nation game available. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a screenshot of this real fast. And keep in mind the only games that you can play are the games that actually have a percentage beside them.
So the next step is what you want to, what you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and uh, end the current season by hitting S, yes. and then you can send through all of this right here by pressing A. So once you go through all that and you get to this screen right here, this part is very important. Once you see this screen right here where, where it asks you if you'd like to enter free agency, make sure that you go ahead and you close out the application and then you want to go ahead and reload the game. If you don't do this step right here, then more than likely you will get stuck on a team. So now I'm going to go ahead and reload the game back up. So once the game loads back up, load back the player that you're currently doing the, the glitch on. You should see that there's no team under the position. That's how you know the glitch is working. So you want to go ahead and hit continue right here. Once you, get, once you hit continue, you'll see you'll be back, you'll be placed back on this screen right here, which is perfect. This is how you know the glitch is working. And then you want to go ahead and hit enter free agency. And then you want to pick a team that has a mob player nation game available. So the first team that has one available, I'm going to try to go to the Clippers or I'm going to try to go to the Timberwolves. So you can see that I have the, uh, the Clippers available. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to select on them and then you can just spam A through all this right here. And then the contract, you just want to make sure that um, it's set to one year, but it's not really going to matter. Just go ahead and hit accept. And then you'll be loaded into the screen right here. And then from here, you want to go ahead and play the Mob Player Nation game. So this is Mob Player Nation game number two. So you want to go ahead and play this game. So same thing on this game. I'm going to uh, play six minutes and then just foul out. I'll try to get some badge progress if I can. But like I said, it's kind of hard since I don't have any actual attributes whatsoever. In this game, like I said, I've done the same exact thing. I got my, I played six minutes and then fouled out just so I would still get the VC. Um, I may get some map points progress and stuff like that just because I did. Um, I think I got an assist or whatever. But you can see, I, you know, my defense and playmaking attributes are going up and then I get my VC once again. So to keep spamming this over and over again, what you want to do from here is hit the middle button on your Xbox, click start on NBA 2K20, go to manage game and add-ons. Go down to save data, click on your user profile, and then hit delete from console. Do not delete from everywhere or you will lose all of your players. And then go ahead and reload the game back up. Once the game loads back up, you can see I'm gonna load up the same exact perimeter lockdown that I've been doing the glitch on. So you can see that there's no team, meaning I'm not stuck on a team. So now I'm gonna load him back up again and you're gonna see right here that it's gonna put me at the point where the free agency screen. So now I'm able to pick another team and um, I'm able to play another Mob Player Nation game. So, uh, so when I do it this time, um, the team that I'm gonna pick is either um, Miami or Orlando, or actually, I can't choose Miami or Orlando because I've already been on that team. So we're gonna try Knicks or Pacers. So I'm gonna enter free agency, hit continue. So we wanna try the Knicks or the Pacers and keep in mind you can't play on a team that you've already played against. So let's see, so here's the Knicks. I'm gonna go ahead and choose them. And then I'm just gonna spam A through all this right here. Make sure the contract is set to one year and then hit accept. And then you'll be placed on this screen right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up this game. So this is my player nation game number three. Uh, generally, you'd you'd be only you'd only be able to play these once a day. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this game up. So same thing right here. I'm going to uh, play six minutes and then fell out just so I get my VC and just show you guys that you can keep spamming this over and over again. So here goes uh, my player gate uh, nation number three. My player nation game number three. You see, I was able to get my VC and then you know what what little badge attribute that I earned. So from here, what you guys want to do? Once again, hit the middle button on your Xbox. Select on NBA 2K20. Go to manage game and add-ons. Go to save data. Hit A on your user profile and then delete from console. And then once you do that, go ahead and reload the game back up. Once the game loads back up, you can see I'm gonna select on the same player once again, and then it's gonna take me back to the free agency screen. So from here, 
I can just repeat the glitch over and over again. Um, so like I said, if you do it this way, the way that I showed you guys, then you should never get stuck on a team. So super easy and super simple. This is just a really fast way to speed up a badge progress on a new player. Again, it gives you double VC, double mile points, and then double badge progression as well.